Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. What day Thank is you. today? What day is today? Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday what? Today is Wednesday. 16. Wednesday. 16th. March 16th, right? How was your day? It was good? Did you have a good day? So. So, so. No, so bad. That's great. Good day. Did you work? Did you relax? Did you do anything interesting? Did you go shopping? No. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Did you have a good time? Did you practice? Did you complete exercises in English? Did you do anything different? No. Okay, so say hello in the chat for everybody. Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you doing? Good evening, everybody. I'm glad to see you. I'm happy to see you. Say something nice to the class, okay, in the chat. I'm going to read your message, please. I want to see your messages, all right? All right, all right. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. We can project your messages. Only one message. How are you today? Hello. Nice to see you. Okay, good. That's the attitude. Positive. Hello. Good evening, classmates. Good evening, partners. I'm happy to see you again. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. How are you today? Hello, nice to see you. So we have Fernando Mendoza, Karen Molina, Fatima Esmeralda, Nuria and Karina. Hello, everybody. Okay, more messages. Hello, mm -hmm. nice to see you every day. Nice. Hello. 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 Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I hope you're fine. I hope everything is okay. I hope everything is great. Uh, I see my mom in the morning. That's great. Nice. It's nice to see you. Likewise, nice to see you too. Happy to see you. Great to see you. Interesting. Okay. Nice messages. Very good. Very good. Keep, you know, the good practice, the courtesy of saying good evening. Okay. That's really nice. It's really great. Also, everybody can read the messages, right? So that is really awesome. Okay. So we're okay. having we're having the attendance. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh nice. Yeah. Ready, ready, ready. Okay, give me one little second. I just need to see. Yes, here your names. I find your names. Okay, wait. Wait a second. Oh, here. Today is Wednesday, right? Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday. All right. Wednesday. Let me just share the screen so that you can see your names. All right. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. All right. One minute. Here we go. Please say present. Anna. Not here. Okay. Brian. Not here. Brian Stanley. Present. Right here, nice. Carlos? Alfonso? Not here, not yet. Damaris? Hello, Damaris? Present. Hello. Hello, present, nice. present. David Alonso? Not here yet? All right, Eduardo Elias? Hello, good evening. Edwin Ernesto? Not here today? Oh my God, Stephanie, Beatriz? Present. Hello. Uh, Fatima? Present, teacher. All right. Fatima Lourdes? I'm here, teacher. All right, perfect. Fernando Arturo? Here. 
Hi. Isabel. Present teacher. Hi. Jocelyn, Gabriela. I'm here. Hi. Nice. Jeremia. Present. Hi. Good evening. Jessica, Janet. Present teacher. Hello. How do you feel? Good. Yes. Good. All right. Good. Uh, Karen, Michelle. Present. Hi. Lourdes. Hi. Present teacher. Hello. Marcos. Present teacher. Hello. Maria, Carolina. Karina. Present I'm sorry, teacher. Karina. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. My mistake. <laughs> All right, Pablo Jose. Present. Present Hello. Teacher. Roxana. Present teacher. Hello. Good evening. Teresa. Present, Miss. Hello. Veronica. Present. Hello. Victor. Present teacher. All right, Jessica. Marilu. Not here tonight. Oh, God. I'm, here, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Anybody already connected that I didn't mention? No? That's it? That's it. All right. Good. Okay. I'm going to say a verb and you have to write a sentence with that verb. Let's see who writes the sentence faster. Let me see. We're going to share the screen because, oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, just one second because I don't have this one on the right screen. One minute. Let's see. Here, here, yes. Okay. So I'm going to be showing the chat and I'm going to say a verb and you have to write a sentence in simple present, okay? Using this verb, either affirmative or a negative sentence. Yes? Are you ready? The verb is yes. work. Write a sentence using the verb work, affirmative or negative. Let's see. Let's see who's the first one. Who's the fastest? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. I'm gonna set a, a, a timer. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick Oh, I work every day. I work every day. I work all days. Okay, stop. No more. Two, two enough. Bye. Three. Corrections. Like inicial siempre tiene que ser capital letter. I work in the afternoon. In simple present, no vamos a poner I am work. Solamente I work. Okay? Good. Perdón. It's okay, it's okay, no problems. Solo estamos haciendo las observaciones para que las tomemos en cuenta, ¿verdad? It's okay. Siguiente verbo. Next, study. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Be creative. No necesariamente tienen que ser I. I, todas las oraciones. Pueden ser cualquier otro subject, ¿ok? A sentence is simple present with the verb study. Go. Ok. Study. I study. I study. Ok, stop. What's the correct spelling for study? Oh. Karen, Karen got a correct sentence. He studies this day. The only thing is that he tiene que ser called capital letter because it's the first letter, it's the first word in the sentence. The study, para los demás, el spelling. Spelling is S T U D Y. No puede ser con A. Si no es otra cosa. Study, right? Next verb. Ready? All right. And be more creative because the simple present includes expression like every day, all the time, in the morning, usually. So this expression that express, okay, play. You can do play. Nobody says play. <laughs> I just say two verbs so far. Work in the study. And they play soccer. The letter S, no, Marcos. Porque para they no le ponemos ese verbo, solo para he, she, it. Okay, next verb. 
You ready? Cook. Okay. Fatima. Okay, stop, stop, stop with cook. Fatima has a question, I think. Mm -hmm. What happened, Fatima? Iba, iba poner Claudia cook and uh, cooking. Claudia cooks cooking. Uh -huh, cooks cooking. Mm, maybe cooks que. Remember, Claudia is a subject, cooks is the action, y después necesita decir qué es lo que cocina. For example, Claudia cooks chicken, that could be. Oh, yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. All right, veamos, cook, cheese, cook, no. En todo caso, si te dice cheese a cook, te estaría diciendo cheese a chef. Te no está usando el verbo cook como action. Ok, my mom cooked today, ¿qué le faltó? Es, porque my mom is she, so my mom cooks today. Ajá. I am cook pizza, I am no puede ser, porque si no usted, usted dice yo soy cocinar, no, imposible. Yes. No, don't worry, solo que manténganlo en mente, ok, no, don't, don't apologize. Es que, Pero es si que aprende... los, escri... los escribimos como se nos viene a la mente. Ah, pero usted... Usted, ajá, I know, y también tiene esa presión, pero usted no es la acción, I mean, you are not play, you are not study, you are not the action, you do, exactly, you do the action, y yo dije, no todos los, los tentes tienen que empezar con I, es lo que más fácil pensamos, I cook, I study, I play, I dance, o sea, pero no necessarily, yes, that's okay. why I say be creative, ok, I cook okay. only at night, está casi correct, ok, at night, en la noche no decimos in the night, at night, ok, she cooks in the house, this is correct, uh -huh. she with capital, después la correction con el asterisk, uh, my grandmother cooks, that's correct, solo que faltó cooks what, falta el objeto del verbo, ok, So she does cook the dinner. Aquí no necesito el does porque es not negative. A menos que hubiera dicho. She doesn't cook dinner. I see. Yes? Karen? Ya se me olvidó, teacher. <laughs> she forgets. <laughs> she forgets the question. Vaya, cuando la tenga me dice. Okay, next. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Clean. 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 No, clean, no. <laughs> The verse clean. Aha, uh -huh, correct. Oh, Olimpia. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. <laughs> okay. Aha, uh -huh, nice. Okay, I clean my room, correct. Solo falta el punto al final. I cleaning, no. Yo no dije verbo in progress, dije una acción general. I clean the house, maybe. Ok, they clean the car, mm, correct, solo falta el punto también. All right, I clean in the morning, I clean my house, I clean the kitchen in the morning. Ok, she doesn't clean the bathroom, correct. Jose cleans, falta la S. Porque es Jose, es third person. I clean my car. She cleans the bathroom, also the S. And he cleans the house. Ven como ella todo, se les olvidó la S. My neighbor cleans the street. Correct, that's good. All right, good. All right. Mm -hmm. Next, ready? Karen, do you remember the question? Or you forgot? Cuando se le cuando se escribe I am o she is o he is, uh -huh. se le puede agregar el ing al verbo. Pero ese es present continuous, no simple present. Ese es algo que describe una acción ocurriendo en este momento. Happening now. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Ok, next verb. The verb is, maybe we can help, we can help with the microphones. Yes, thank you. Let's see, the verb is cold. A 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It says she calls. She calls my father. Ah, my father? No. You call my sister? Yes, she calls her boyfriend. Could be because if she calls your boyfriend, that's something serious. <laughs> she calls my uncle or her uncle. No, she is called. Okay, my father calls the police. Correct. He calls his sister. Capital he only. I call my mother. He calls. Okay, my mother. Uh huh. All right. Perfect. Good. Oh my gosh, somewhere it's raining, probably. Okay. Alguien tiene que ver tu micrófono que se oye muy fuerte. Yes, there is a rain. Como lluvia, bien raro. Thank you. Yes. Okay. I was checking your messages for any reason. All right. Almost everybody participated here, but this, the same corrections, right? Capital, beginning, she calls her father, probably. You call your sister, she calls her boyfriend, she calls my uncle, could be. My father calls the police, this is correct. He calls his sister, it's correct too, but the capital, he, the capital H at the beginning. Okay, my mother calls my sister, my mom calls my aunt, yeah, my father calls my grandma. This apostrophe is, is not necessary, okay, because this is for possessive. All right, enough, enough, enough. Okay, this is our class number three. Yes, I have two more hands, tell me. Cuando se le pone el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé si estoy equivocada hoy. ¿Es cuando habla en plural? No. O cuando está eh, así como algunas salas de belleza, que para poner nombre propio. No. Eso es para posesivo, para decir my sister's Ajá. house. Entonces pongo my sister, apóstrofe es house. Pero lo que estoy diciendo es que es la casa de mi hermana. ¿Sí? Es posesivo. Karen? Gracias. No problem. Karen, oh, you don't you don't remember the question anymore. Es que no sé cómo bajar la manita. Ah, but tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Solo but, dígame. Just tell me. Lower the hand. That's it. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, I I always think that you have a question. Okay, <laughs> all right. So this is the structure, the subject, the verb, and the complement, remember, okay? Go to the park, cook pasta, work at home, study medicine, dance salsa, buy food, play soccer. So we need a subject, we need a verb, and we need a complement, okay? Of course, aquí va a depender si le pongo es o no el verbo, si es alguno de estos three subjects. Yes, this is a review of yesterday's class. Okay, solo como para que tengamos en mente to refresh the information. Yes, all right. <clears throat> These are the objectives. Okay, for this class to say affirmative and negative sentence using the simple present and describe your daily routine. Uh -huh. Que es algo que ustedes hacen diariamente. Something that you do every day. I get up at five o'clock in the morning. I usually take a shower. Then I go to school or I go to work. I usually work every day from this time to this time. I take the bus, I come home, I prepare dinner. I take a shower, I clean the house. ¿Qué es lo que generalmente hacen todos los días? Uh -huh. A ver. Are you, <laughs> are you prepared for practicing your daily routine? Empiecen a recordar qué es lo que hacen, qué es lo que más se repite en su día a día, daily, day by day. O sea, no tiene que ser perfect, pero por lo menos que les cuenten cinco de las actividades que más repiten a diario. 
That is your daily routine. Of course, I usually get up. No vayan a contar lo del Sunday or Saturday, porque probably that is different. Uh -huh. I usually get up at five. Then I take a shower, of course. I get ready to go to work. Then I prepare uh, breakfast. Then I drive to work. I eat breakfast while I drive to work. Then I work from, I usually work from 8 to 5 p.m. I usually have lunch at the office. I, <clears throat> I teach almost all day. Then I come back home. Then I usually rest for a little bit. Then I have these other two classes. Then I brush my teeth. I get ready to go to bed. I put on my pajamas. I sometimes watch some videos or I finish something I have pending on the computer or in the kitchen. It all depends. And then I go to sleep. Yes. I get up early every day. I get up at five every day. I get up, okay, I cook, I work, I dance. I don't know what you do every day. But no necesitamos tener como un ejemplo ni nada, porque cada uno tiene como su rutina propia, ¿verdad? So, aquí escribieron algunos examples, which is really nice. I love it. So, I, people says, um, okay, I take a shower. I work every day in the afternoon, I turn on the computer, I work every day and I go to the church. Yes, I read every day. I, uh, yes, my favorite book, I get up every day, of course, we always get up, I usually get up at half past, past six. Uh -huh. So, pero cuenten algo más, no solamente una actividad, no lo hagan ahorita en el chat, don't worry, pero si sí se lo van a contar a su partner, ok? Traten de contarle desde que se levantan hasta que, hasta que se van a dormir. I usually have breakfast with my mom. I usually drink coffee in the afternoon with my grandma. No sé, whatever. Because we always do different things. Maybe our story is very different to somebody else's story, okay? So you're going to work in group of three. Everybody has to participate. Si hay alguien que se les queda callado, pues motiven, ¿verdad? Say, tell us, tell us your daily routine. Talk about your day, tell us your activities, whatever, but encourage, okay? Here we go. I got up um five um no I'm gonna think about like seven I think um I'm thinking I say Um, bueno, tú haces la pregunta, uh, what did you do on your daily in routine? Okay, what did you do on your daily routine? ¿Qué es lo que haces tú eh, en tu rutina diaria? Okay. Um, um, I work 
¿Quieres preguntarme a mí para que ya vea el más o menos? Ajá, sí, por porque... Ah, no, me lo perdí. Ok, okay. Yes. pero le pregunto. What do you do at your daily routine? Ok. Uh, I get out at 5 a.m. every day. Uh, next, then I, I take a shower around five and a half p.m. And then I, I prepare my breakfast and include my, my, my lunch. And then I, I brush my, my teeth. Then I, I, I go, I go to my work and, and I, I arrive, arrive to my work at 8 a.m. And then I take my lunch around around um, 12 p.m. and then then I I take I take the bath mm -hmm. or combat my harm around five in a house p.m. and I then I I take my class for the university around the 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And next I I prepare my dinner and then I I take my class English and then I I um. I work in my house and I cook my breakfast. And I take the dinner with my parents. I sleep in the 8 p.m. o'clock all day. No sé. Uh -huh. 10, 11. 10 p.m. at at five o'clock, digamos. Five a.m. o'clock. I have a, a, a break at 4 p.m. Eh, mm -hmm. all day. Mm -hmm. También se day. puede decir, también se puede decir, how do you say, este, eh, digamos, no suelo, no, no suelo dormir en la en la tarde o cosas así, o sea, no suelo jugar, hacer deporte, por ejemplo. En negativo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería, hay, don't... digamos, ejercicio sería, creo que hay, don't, I do. eh, hay, así, Oye. no porque como estoy make. negando. Que yo tengo la duda, en do y me, como los dos son hacer. No, pero es que aquí está usando el auxiliar. Eh, eh, uh -huh. Yo creo, ¿verdad, teacher? Eh, sería como para negar la oración o todo I lo do, que estoy haciendo. I uh -huh. Sería, I do, I, I don't. Do, I, I don't, don't, exactly. Eh, I don't, I don't play, play. I don't, don't do any no. sport. Uh -huh. Como para I no hacer, no, yo no hago ejercicio, digamos, sería, I, I don't, don't exercise. Eh, exercise. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. Entonces I aquí se, se utiliza ese do, ese do ¿verdad? Chichita? Do not, ajá, contractado, no, don't. don't. Ajá. I don't sí. go to the gym. Uh -huh. Teacher, ajá. Uh -huh. teacher yo, yo estaba viendo, por ejemplo, en una similitud en Duolingo, Duolingo hoy cada vez va más bueno, este for, um, um, similar, um, en for, digamos, eh, spell is is F O R y lo otro es F 
O U R, digamos. Uh -huh. Entonces, este, ahí aparecen también varias similitudes. Right, es que muchas palabras suenan igual, pero son otra cosa o se le deletrean otra cosa. Mm. Right. Mm. Yes, actually there are four, sí, four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y no sabía cómo, en, porque como son audios que ponen, entonces a veces uno se queda ahí. Y como son las muletitas, entonces uno queda, ¿es para o es cuatro? Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, two, 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 as well. T-O, T-O-O, uh -huh. or T-W-O. So. Uh -huh. And then, esos uh -huh. se llaman allophones, son palabras que suenan igual, pero que se escriben diferente y que tienen un meaning uh -huh. diferente. Oh, That's okay. a good idea. You keep practicing. You learn vocabulary. That's a good idea. Yes. Okay? Okay. okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Continue Thank you. describing your daily routine. Uh -huh. Pues ya la medio dijimos, ¿verdad? Yeah, <laughs> si faltaba más. alguien, algo más. Pues no sé. Ok, you finish. Or you say other questions. Do you do exercise? Do you play soccer? Do you play any sport? I do not. Mm, I don't. I don't. I don't walk my dog. I don't eat house. <laughs> eh, ¿Y cómo se llama? Podría decir. Por I, ejemplo, también. I dance. I dance. Eh, bachata <risa> creo que si sí era yo bailo, yo bailo bachata o salsa puedes hablar en inglés <risa> bueno el otro Eduardo se llamaba este otro muchacho Sí. Sí, sí, sí. What's your last yeah, name? No nos dijo, no nos dijo que era su trabajo. What's your, what's your job? Ah, okay. What is your job? Come on. Okay. Hola. Okay. De una guía de lo que vamos a decir. No, o sea, lo que tú, lo que tú. O sea, tengas, lo, que, lo que haces en el día, puedas. ajá. Uh -huh. Lo que tú puedas um, decir. I am not working <laughs> for for moment, for moment. Um, eh, okay. Quiero ver eh, cómo se dice despertar. I wake eh, up. ¿Cómo? I wake up. I wake up. I wake up. up. Yes. I wake I wake up. Um, <laughs> 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, um, prepare a uh, breakfast. I prepare breakfast. Oh, delicious breakfast. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> continental. <laughs> oh my God, I need uh -huh. a breakfast, a continental yeah. breakfast. <laughs> um, and, uh, together uh, lunch. Uh -huh. uh, for for my my wife. Uh huh. And, Um, uh, my da my daughter, uh, my daughter, my son. All right. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, next, um, por la tarde, ¿cómo se diría? Okay. <laughs> yo creo que ya pasó. Hay tiempo. que hablar en inglés. <laughs> sí, yo creo que ya. Sí, porque ahí veo que está la ficha. ¿Y ayer qué vieron que no entré? Oh, ayer. Por aquí lo tengo, ahorita lo estoy. Fue. Eh, del present. De simple ya, ya me llegas por ahí. Ok. Um, eh, y ahí hay, hay estoy. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Ah. <ríe> Vinieron a apoyar. Pasar tiempo con la familia. Bueno, ya no van a sacar. <ríe> I spend time with family. I spend. Spend, S-P-E-N, spend time with family. Uh, Spain, I... Spend time with family. Exactly. 
Ay. Thanks. Ah, quiero ver. ¿Yo qué hago en las vacaciones? Eh, I am from in Santa Ana. Santa Ana. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, what are you doing the Monday? Lunes? Uh, I am work. Did you finish? Yes. yes. Do you have yes. any question? Yes. Eh, tenemos una pregunta. Tell ¿Cómo me. se pronuncia rutina? Routine. Routine. Daily routine. Um, teacher. Yes. También eh, tengo una consulta. ¿Cómo Tell se me. pronuncia preparar? Prepare. Ah, prepare. I prepare my prepare. breakfast. I prepare my lunch. I prepare uh, dinner. Thank you. Prepare. Yes. Okay. Thank no more questions? Teacher. No, no. All right, perfect. Hello, Isabel. How are you? Fine, teacher. <laughs> I'm very uh, frustrated. Frustrated? Why? Because, because of the connection. Homework. homework. A lot of connection. Homework. I believe yes. you. Yes. All right. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Hello. Interesting conversation, right? Sí, super interesante porque no nos entendemos ni uno ni otro. Interesting, repeat, interesting. <laughs> super interesting. No, but that is the idea. Try to communicate, okay? So Isabel is frustrated because of the connection, she says. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Isabel, you couldn't practice. They were describing their daily routine, okay? What they do every day. The activities that are more repeated every single day. Of course, we all get up, we all, well, some people eat, some people don't eat uh, probably a specific time of the, of the day. For example, some people say, I never eat breakfast. I usually drink a cup of coffee and I run to work or I sometimes don't eat uh, dinner or I sometimes cook or I sometimes buy the food at, at outside and so on. We all have different activities, different routines, right? But some people um, have similar, similar ideas and that is really, really good. Now, similar routines probably for some people, they go to university, they go to classes, they go to work, they study, they work at home, they do home office. Somebody does home office here? Hay alguien que haga home office? Oh, not anymore. Uh, no. Fatima Lourdes does home office, you see? What time do you do home office? From seven, from six? Oh, Mr. Edwin Ernesto, Miss Roxana, they do home office. What's your schedule for home office? All day, all night? In the morning, in the afternoon? Sí, uh, all day. And all uh, day. Uh, at, at 10 a.m. From 10 a.m. Uh, uh, and 7 p.m. To 7 p.m. Okay, that is a long schedule. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And who else? Miss Roxana, you said you do home office? In the morning, in the afternoon. Four hours in the Naima. Really? So you have long schedule. Long, <laughs> yeah. long. And Mr. Edwin? 
Mendes? All day too? Uh, at, 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 at 6 a.m. Um, for day. All day. <laughs> From 6 a.m. all day. All day, all oh day. Oh my God. All day. And you continue studying. That's great. That's really brave. That's really good. Congratulations. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. He's working at home. That's what he means. All right. So one second, please. I just need to get to the correct slides. Yes, this is the one we were talking about. Let me just grab something right here. And here, of course. Okay. Of course, that is usually during the week, right? On the weekend, probably you do something different. You are more relaxed. You say, on the weekend, I sleep late. I don't get up early. I don't go to work. I don't have to run or rush in the traffic and so on and so on. So probably it's a little bit different. It's more relaxed, okay? All right, we're going to make a little review of the simple present questions, okay? Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. These are yes, no questions because the only two possible answers is yes or no. But these are information questions. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock, at 6 a.m., at 5.30. What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. So they ask for information, okay? Um, the yes, no question start with the auxiliary do or does. The information question start with what time, when, where, why, how, who, yes? For example, <clears throat> if I ask you, when do you receive classes? Every day? <coughs> Sorry. When do you receive classes? Every day? Is that correct? No. 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 Uh -huh. What is the correct answer? When do you receive English classes? Uh, Monday and the Monday Tuesday. And Thursday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, Thursday. And from, so exactly, from Monday to Thursday. From Monday. Exactly, from Monday to Thursday. Teacher, when, yes. Y en este caso, ya no, si digamos es la respuesta negativa, ya no se agrega el doesn't. El doesn't va a ser cuando estamos hablando de he, she, or it. For example, si yo le digo, does your mother drive a car? Y se me dice, no, ya no maneja. No, she doesn't drive a car. Yes. Pero aquí se habla de he. Does he. Uh -huh. Does he, pero obviamente este he puede ser cualquier otro sujeto. Cualquier otro, no necesariamente el pronombre he como tal. Puede ser cualquier otro noun, pero que se refiera a un caballero. Does your boss, does your best friend, does... Anyone, that's your husband, yes, like, uh, what, chocolates. And you say, no, he doesn't like chocolate. Pero ese sería en el caso de que la pregunta sea una yes, no question. Recuerden, los yes, no question inician con un auxiliar. Y estas questions inician con una palabra que es denota una respuesta de información, por eso se llaman information questions. Si escuchan el sound acá es because of the rain, ¿ok? O sea que se usa el doesn't cuando se da una respuesta cerrada de decir sí o no. Una respuesta negativa podría ser, pero cuando yo le pregunto a qué horas 
Por ejemplo, ¿a qué hora se duerme tu, tu papá? What time does your father go to bed, go to sleep? Usted no me puede decir yes or no, porque estoy preguntando a qué hora. Yes? Uh -huh. So he goes ah, to bed uh -huh. at Entonces nine. Son preguntas abiertas. Exactly. Por eso se llaman information question. Lo que estoy requiriendo es que me dé information. Ah, ok. Thank you. No problem. Ok. Vaya, vamos a hacer una little practice. Acá tenemos unos exercises. Vamos a poner esto acá. Complete the question with do or does. Esas son expressions de time que nos pueden ayudar a formular las sentences o las que estábamos haciendo en el caso de las routines. Okay, early, late, every day, at night, at noon. And voy a compartir igual esta imagen para que puedan ustedes deducir qué es lo que necesitan acá en los espacios. Si es do or does. En los mismos equipos donde estaban, ¿ok? Mientras escuchamos esto, déjenme. No, no, sería do you mother work? Do you, do you mother work? Uh -huh. Y la otra es how, how, many... how do you father? How do your father? Yes. Does. Does your mother work? Creo. Sí. Does your mother work? La cuatro es. How do your father go to work? La cuatro es dos. No, dos. La cuatro es dos. Sí. Who does your father? Does your father go to work? La cinco es. Does your parents? Does your sí. parents? Within the evening. La seis es. When it does, es que yo no entiendo. When do you shop? When do you parents shop? Ajá. La siete. La siete. La siete. Dice que escribamos cuatro oraciones entre nosotros, así que pensemos. 
si quieren uno que haga con, con la 7, el otro la 8 y la 9, ¿cuál eligen? Yo agarro la 8. Nosotros. Ah, la 7. Y en esa no, nosotros vamos a hacer oración. Creo sí, yo creo que en la... Bueno, En la otra, ¿cómo la podríamos eh, formular? What time? Ah, todavía no, todavía no. No, no creo que se unió. No. Ah, no. Let's drive a car. Uh -huh. A ver, la ocho. Eh, pongámosle una más. Let's drive a car en... Everyday, pongámosle. Tú también a la 3. Es que, no, yo creo que ahí sí, ten, do you, sí tengo mis dudas con esa. Do you, porque las, las expresiones que aparecen en el cuadrito, time Ajá. expression, early, later, every day, at Nine. Uh -huh. At noon. Eso no sé para qué se No aparece. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on Sunday, uh -huh. on weekend. Uh, Yo creo que es dos. The long. Uh -huh. Ok. For time. Bueno, la dejamos así, pasamos a la otra. La de do. Puede ser do they take the bus to the school. Espérate. Que si, si tú eres, tomas un, uh, un bus ellos, para ir a la escuela. They, ellos. A ellos do they. toman el, ajá, the bus to the school. Digo yo. Uh -huh. Otra. Bicicleta. Ajá. Uh, <ríe> Para, como que para, para cambiar el vocabulario. Do you ride? Oh, do, do you ride? ride si corre el trabajo, o no sé. Do you walk? Do you drive the do car? You walk to the... Okay, did you finish? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yes or no? So, so. <laughs> Were you able to finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Let's compare. Here, the subject is you, of course, the auxiliary is do. Do you get up early on weekdays? What time? Do. Do, all right. What time do you go home? What time do you go home? Exactly. Because the subject is you, what time do you go home? Your mother is a she, right? 
So what is the That's auxiliary? Does. You say does. Does. Does your does. mother work? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does your mother does. work? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Right? How? Do. Does. Your father does. is does. he. And then does definitely we need does. Oh, How does your father get to work? How? He drives, he rides a bicycle, he rides a motorcycle, he walks, right? Your parents is your mother mm -hmm. and your father. Does. Do. Do, because it's do they. You. Do your parents. Do. Uh -huh. Do your parents. Would you do? do your parents. Do your parents read in the evening? Parents is mother and father, so it's they. Okay? okay. Parents again. When when do your when do parents, your parents when do your parents shop? Does mm -hmm. ah, that's does he studies today? Does he study, study every day, let's say? Every day. Ah, yeah, Does, lleva la S. Does he study every day? Does he study on the weekend? Does your brother study at the university? Does your sister study, work, play, whatever, right? One time, mm -hmm. uh, what time? Does get up? What time do you get up? Could be. Mm -hmm. What time do you get up? Do. Do you speak English? <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a good one. Do you speak English? That is something you're going to use every day. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. You will say perfect English. When? When do you study English? When do you study English? Nice. Okay. Sorry. When do you study English? Okay, perfect. These expressions only are as a reference, okay? Early, the opposite of early, late. When you get up, you say, oh, I have time, it's early. But when you get up late, you say, I have to do everything, I have to run because it's very late, right? Every day, repeated, all days. At nine, it's the time. At nine, at four, at three, at seven. When you say the time, right? At noon, at midnight, at night. Esta expresión siempre van a ir con at. In the morning, okay. in the afternoon, in the evening. Esta van a ir con in. Always. In the morning, in the afternoon. In the evening, y queremos decir in the night, ¿verdad? Pero no, it's at night. On Sundays, on weekends, on weekdays. Esto van a ir con on. Todos los días van a ir con on. On Sundays, on Mondays, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, right? On weekdays. That's right. why they give you these expressions, all right? Is there any question? Do you have any question? No questions? No Are you sure? Are you sleepy? Yeah. <laughs> Are you tired? <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Alguien se incorporó? Que era que lo tomamos en cuenta? Su atendas? O nobody else? Yo, teacher. I am David. Okay. You, oh, David. It's true. Give me one second, David. Compartir acá para que no haya malos entendidos. David, David, David. ¿Qué le había pasado, David? Why did you get late? The connection. 
No, the Gaya. connection is terrible because it's raining. Yes. Mm -hmm. Edwin, también se logró incorporar, Mr. Edwin. Por ahí vi que había escrito. Sí, aquí estoy, aquí estoy, teacher. Que ejemplo. tenía issues también con la connection, ¿verdad? The internet connection is terrible. Carlos. Sí, aquí estoy, teacher. Yes. Carlos Alfonso, did you connect or no? No. No, not today. Ok, anyways. Teacher, okay. yo sí me conecté. Sorry, Carlos. Edwin. Sí, 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 a usted ya, ya le tomé la tendencia. Don't worry. Ah, ok, ok. Y, y también okay. ya había no, leído último, su... teacher, solo uh -huh. una, una pregunta. Dígame. Eh, lo que sucede es que veo que, que nos están pidiendo el comprobante, no sé si se ve solo yo, de comprobante de recibido del material para, de apoyo, pero yo no tengo el módulo número 2, no tengo el link, no tengo la descarga, pues no sé si ya lo enviaron o a uno. No les habían enviado un, un form. ¿Alguien que haga el favor de reenviarlo? Yo tenía entendido que, que cuando mandaron el, el bueno, a mí me mandó un, eh, la chica todo, el enlace a Zoom y abajo iba el, el, el enlace para la plataforma y al final está el, el, el módulo, creo, el PDF que se tiene que descargar. Y Porque también el correo. En, el en la plataforma ah. está el, el, el PDF. En ah, lo ok, último. perfecto, lo voy a buscar bien. Sí, sí o, no, recuerden, eh, o recuerden. Puede reenviar el, el puede descargar. Uh -huh. O el comprobante del manual quiere. No entendí qué es lo que quiere. El manual. Pero es que a veces el manual, manual no aparece en, la, en el teléfono, sino que solo aparece en, uh -huh. si lo ven por computadora. Uh -huh. Si no, también recuérdenos mañana para Ajá, proyectar. Pero en el correo no lo tengo. Bueno, ya mandé okay, el link perfecto. del manual. Thank you. Igual pueden también escribirle okay. a la chica directamente. Okay. Sí, porque ellos están pidiendo en PDF y la vez pasada nos dijo que lo podíamos enviar por foto, pero quizás uh -huh. hoy lo quieren así con PDF. Uh -huh. Pero solo se descargan cano escáner y este, sacan copia al, al, aquí en el... Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sí, Good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.